around my story. I'm Martina, 17 years old. A new mathematics teacher named Thomas moved to our school. The first day he entered the school, my classmates and I admired him. A handsome young man in his 30s, slender, tall, attractive, and calm with unnatural charisma. Fortunately, he was the new teacher for my class. He entered the class and introduced himself. The girls were focused on him and were fascinated by him. We finished the lesson and we went out to the schoolyard. Me and my friend Madeline saw him standing with the teachers, getting to know them and laughing. I went home that day and could not stop thinking about Mr. Thomas. I felt that I knew him for a long time and needed to know more details about him. I started looking for his account on social media and collected information about him. I slept early to go to school early and see Thomas again. The next day, I told Madeline that I like Mr. Thomas. She said, are you serious? I told her, yes, of course. Yesterday, I reached his account and he is single. I must be in relationship with him quickly before any of the girls around him take him from me. We kept thinking. Madeline told me that we need to make a plan. We kept thinking. We found that there would be a camping trip after a week. And on this trip, I will be able to get closer to him and get to know him more. And until this trip day, the first thing I did when I went home, entered my room, and before I changed my clothes, sent him a friend request on Facebook. I sent him a question about a difficult issue, and then we kept discussing the solution and talked about many things, including that I love sports very much and think of entering the College of Engineering. I asked him about his interests and knew the club he was going to, and the next day, it was a day off, and we met there as if it was a coincidence because Madeline was with me, and she was always there. We continued talking, and then I went home and was very happy, but worried that I would be attached to him while he treated me like any other student. I then decided not to think of anything that frustrate me, as only was only one day left for the trip, and I did not think of anything other than the trip and Mr. Thomas. I have to sleep now, and tomorrow, I will tell him about the trip. The next day at school, I saw him. I told him about the trip and that I booked him a ticket so that we can get to know him more. He agreed and said that he would be happy if there was an empty place on the trip. I told him, yes. This day was one of the happiest days and I spent the whole day, could not forget his laughter and his greetings to me. The day ended. Madeline and I went home to prepare the suitcase for the trip. I didn't know what to take or leave. We finally finished preparing the bag and I had just a few hours left to meet Thomas and stay there for four whole days. We all gathered in front of the school and the bus was there and most of the students were there, but Thomas still didn't come. I was worried that he wasn't coming and I was very upset, but suddenly I found Madeline telling me he was the one coming there. I looked. He really was. But he had a very sweet girl. They were coming to us happy with big smiles on their face. I found the girl approaching me saying, You are Martina. Thomas talked to me a lot about you and your enthusiasm and activity. Thank you for the trip. We needed this trip a lot since we came back from Paris. But he was busy. I heard all of her words and couldn't utter a single word. All of them got on the bus and I went home, not realizing what happened until now. I could not stop thinking about it and do not know what to do.